the channel guys the transfer season is almost up and the squads have been more or less finalized but we still don't rule out the possibility of some big money moves i've talked about them in my previous video so just go and check it out too link in the description below in this video we'll talk about the in-depth squad analysis of fc real madrid because they have done some fabulous signing this year Florentino Perez has finally broken his piggy bank to spend over 300 million to bring in players like Luka Jovic, Eden Hazard, Eder Militao, Ferlan Mendy and Rodrigo Goes. With such a competitive squad for the new manager Zinedine Zidane, it would be interesting to see how he plays them and incorporates while exploiting their potential to the fullest. So let's just start off with the playing methodology of Zinedine Zidane. While Zidane plays attacking football basically using a 4-3-3 formation using his attackers to press the opposition back four. His players, instead of man-marking, they cover the passing lanes, making spaces to run into and start counter-attacks. Casemiro is the main man as he covers the central position and his deep-lying midfield role helps him to serve as a reset. He drives into tackle and boasts of a high interception rate of 184 in La Liga and 56 in the Champions League last season alone. Usually in attack, he moves up ahead till the opposition box and plays as a cover for the fullbacks who frequently play back passes to him. While defending, he uses a high press. Real Madrid play a high line while attacking, which leaves him open to swift counter-attacks with long balls in behind the defence. In attack, Zidane makes his team spread and use the full width of the pitch, with his full-back always overlapping. They, are, they start off with 4-3-3, which changes to 4-3-1-2 and overleading the opposition with 2-1-4-3, where the full-backs occupying the roles as a winger. While defending, they change to 4-5-1, choking the midfield with extra players to cause the opposition to lose position and start counter-attacks with the usual long through balls on the wings. While this year we can also fancy watching Real Madrid play a 4-4-2 formation with both Benzema and Luka Jovic. This might reveal them recreating the partnership of Berbatov and Rooney, although it will be very interesting to watch Zidane use this lineup. Under his previous stint as Real Madrid manager, Zinedine Zidane won back-to-back -back three Champions League and the first La Liga title in five years before he stepped down as the manager. And since then, Real Madrid have appointed Lopetegui and Scolari who were both sacked due to inconsistent results. What Zidane needs to do is rebuild. He has got a fantastic squad very much to his delight that he now has his man Eden Hazard to fill in the CR7 sized hole left in the squad. Julian Lopetegui's father blasted Real Madrid for selling Cristiano Ronaldo by saying they stole 50 goals from my son. Well, that was in fact very true. But now having players like Luka Jovic, Eden Hazard, Benzema on his side, Zidane will not be worried about that so much. Now let's quickly get into the formation Zidane can be using. The bracket of players he has is 4-3-3 or a 4-4-2. With Kayla Navas now on the brink of exit, the starting keeper will undoubtedly be Theobard Courtois. In his total 35 appearance, he conceded 48 goals, keeping 10 clean sheets. Real Madrid has a backup keeper in the form of Adri Lunen as Zidane's son Luka Zidane is sent on loan to Racing Santander. Now talking about defence, Zidane has got an absolute cracker of a bunch of players to use right here. The natural centre-back positions can be filled by Sergio Ramos and Rafael Varane who can be rested or if when injured can be replaced with the likes of Nacho and Jesus Vallejo. Now at the right back, Danny Cavajal has been so important for the Galactico for the past seasons but his injuries have let him down. He has been injured in two of the three finals of the Champions League. But due to the recent signing of Eder Militao and last year's acquisition, Alvaro Odrio Zola, the right back position feels in good hands now. Eder Militao's capability to play either as a right back and as a centre back would be such a boost if there are any kind of injuries to Cavajal or either Sergio Ramos. At left back, we have Marcelo and he has shown that he can be the world's best left back when he is fit. And now, Real Madrid purchasing Fernand Mendy from Leon brings up a lot of competition for him. Although he will still be an understudy of Marcelo, but I can see him benching the Brazilian sooner rather than later. Coming on to midfield, which became kind of a problem for Real Madrid last season when the record-winning trio of Cruz, Casemiro and the Ballon d'Or winner Luka Modric failed to combine most of the times. The Croatian Luka Modric has not even been the shadow of the player which he was last season. He really needs to step up or else Real Madrid might be forced into buying a very obvious alternative in the shape of Christian Eriksen. Luka Modric had a torrid time playing the Champions League match where the Ajax youngsters ran circles around him and he was left in a heap by De Jong. While Eriksen is the first player since Beckham to record 10 plus assists in four consecutive PL seasons, 
He is ruthless and a star man for Mauricio Pochettino, but Spurs might let him go for a considerably less amount this season than rather watch him leave for free the next. Well, for Cruz, Cruz is a very important man for Real Madrid as he sets up the link between the midfield and attack. He sets up the pace and controls the game, but with his only four goal involvement in the past season, he might lose his place if Real Madrid strike a deal for Paul Pogba. Pogba has been directly involved in 22 league goals this season, more than any midfielder in Europe's top 5, scoring 13 and 9 assists. In midfield, Zidane also has some bench warmers who can be decisive when called up, like Isco, the 20 year old Brahim Diaz, Denny Ceballos, who actually is an advanced stock with Spurs, and Federico Valverde, and James Rodriguez, the Colombian who says he's still not sure as to where he'll be playing at Napoli or at Atletico Madrid. We surely don't know about his destination yet, but with Paul Pogba, Casemiro and Eriksen in midfield, they look untouchable. And now talking about attack, when Cristiano Ronaldo left, he really made Real Madrid devoid of 50 goals per season, which neither the total of Bale and Benzema could ever score. While Bale could be spending his career playing golf, Zidane can make use of his new arrivals to destroy the opposition, starting with left wing Eden Hazard is not a natural-born goal scorer like Ronaldo. Actually, he has scored over 110 goals in the past seven seasons with Chelsea and has been involved in a goal every 133 minutes. So what I'm saying is that don't think that Hazard will be bringing 50 goals for Madrid, but he'll be doing much more important role than that. He has recorded more assists than anyone in the Premier League this season and has been a decisive factor when Chelsea won the Europa League. Hazard is much more of a creative winger. His best attribute is unpredictability, his dribbling skill, his first touch, his vision, his passing. Oh, whom I'm kidding. He's a fantastic player and he'll be loved at Real Madrid. Lastly, the right wing can be, or I must say, should be filled by Marco Asensio. The left-footed youngster should finally be given his full season debut and can be replaced by Lucas Vazquez or the talented young Brazilian Rodrigo Goes. While talking about the center forward position, or should I say the striking position for Real Madrid, I can be very confident that it is in good hands. Benzema has been awesome the last season, and especially after the departure of Cristiano Ronaldo, he has taken the matter in his own hands. And with the arrival of Luka Jovic, I think so that the center forward position will be pretty much occupied. Well, thank you for watching. Leave a comment down below. If you guys like my video, let me know your views about how Real Madrid gonna play under the Zidane this year, if they are gonna do any more signings. If you are satisfied with this video, leave a like and hit the subscribe button. My name is Ishan Khan and I'll be back with more videos. Keep watching, talk football. Until then, peace out.